Hephaestus, god of forges, had berated his wife Aphrodite after catching her red-handed having an extramarital affair with Ares, the god of war. The god took a long time to recover from such a humiliation. To alleviate his pain, he began to focus exclusively on work. At this time, the Trojan War had broken out and Athena, goddess of strategic warfare, went to Hephaestus's forge with an order for new weapons and armor. Hephaestus was a magnificent blacksmith, and Athena enjoyed visiting his workshop to watch the making of the weapons that were true works of art. The god of the forges enjoyed the visits of the beautiful and haughty goddess of wisdom, who illuminated Hephaestus's forge with her splendor and lessened the loneliness of the blacksmith deity. Poseidon, god of the seas and Athena's rival, seeing the friendship between the gods, decided to stir up an argument between them. The sea god poked Hephaestus, saying that Athena had an interest in a love affair with the god of the forges. But Athena had no intention of having an affair with anyone, for she had taken a vow of chastity and wished to remain pure for all eternity. Upon hearing this false account, Hephaestus was thrilled. After all, one of the most beautiful goddesses of Olympus wanted to be with him. When the goddess decided to pay another visit, Hephaestus, consumed by lust, tried to seduce her, but Athena rejected him. However, the god was beset by desire and tried to conquer her through force. The god grabbed the virgin goddess, but the deity of war pushed him away. However, Hephaestus had already poured out his divine seed. The goddess disgustingly shoved the god of forges back, throwing him to the ground. Hephaestus' divine seed fell to the earth and was taken up by Gaia, who subsequently gave birth to the fruit of this mishap. The baby's name was Erichthonius, a strange creature with the trunk of a man and the tail of a serpent. Athena adopted Erichthonius as her own son, but the baby was not yet ready to live in the mortal world. So, Athena put him in a basket and gave the child to the princess of Athens, a city consecrated to the goddess after her feud with Poseidon. The goddess told them that they could never peek into the contents of the box, but the princess's curiosity was greater than their caution. They opened the box and found the creature. They became mad and threw themselves from the top of Athens' Acropolis. Athens returned for her son and raised him in the temple dedicated to the goddess. Under the guardianship of the deity of wisdom, Erichthonius became a wise and diligent adult. He was one of the legendary kings of Athens, with a prosperous regency. During his reign, the Greeks learned how to deal with money. Accordingly, the son of Athena went down in history as one of the best rulers of Attica.